hi in this video i want to show you step by step how to create this isometric drafting okay so go to our autocad software okay right here you can find the iso isometric drafting so by clicking this isometric drafting icon you can activate the isometric drafting mode okay so firstly by using the polyline command i will create the line over here okay just click here okay then i choose auto mode this is polar tracking so i choose auto mode okay to create this polyline okay so for this line i enter 500 okay next i move to the to the right so i cannot move to the right so you can you can change the isometric plane by press control f5 okay you also can find the plane over here uh, right here you can see isoplane left top and right okay so here i put 500 press enter then i want to move this line upward so i change the plane once again i switch to isoplane right okay i put 250 press enter then move over here 500 press enter then i click this point okay press enter okay next i want to create polyline over here so by using the polyline command once again i click this as the starting point then i press ctrl f5 then i put the distance 250 then upward also 250 then 250 then i click this point okay press enter all right so next i want to create the another polyline okay so i click this as the starting point then i put 250 okay then i just click this point then press enter okay once again polyline press enter i click this point then i move upward i enter 250 distance press enter then move over here 250 also then i click this end point press enter then by using the line command i click this point and i click this point in order to create the line okay press enter all right okay so done with our isometric drafting next i want to create the dimension okay so in order to create the dimension firstly i need to set the dimension style this is dimension style manager so i need to create okay i need to create the new dimension setting so i put the name drafting 5 then i click continue okay you can see this symbol and arrows so for the arrow size i put 25 okay next i could i go to the text tab over here i put for the text height i put 25 25 okay for the text alignment i choose iso standard at the primary unit tab you can see at the position okay i choose no no this more please okay then decimal separator period then i just click okay okay i choose drafting draft file then i click set current and then click close okay next we can label the dimension so by using the dim align command okay i label the dimension so firstly i i change from auto mode to polar tracking okay so i click this point and click this point alright ok so repeat the same command so in order to repeat the previous command you just press enter then 
you can repeat this with this command okay okay press enter no need to type the dimension command okay So we label the dimension to all of the isometric sides. Okay. So as you can see, the dimension is not aligned with the plate. So I want to make sure this dimension is aligned with this plane. Okay. Alright. So by using the dim edit command, okay, then I choose oblique. Okay, by clicking this dimension, then press enter. I click this as the base point, then I drag the cursor over here, then click. Okay, so you can see the dimension already aligned with the plane. Okay, so next I repeat the same command. Okay, for this dimension. Alright. Okay, next. For this dimension also. Okay. Okay, for this dimension. Okay, you can adjust this dimension. Okay. All right. So, we apply the dimension edit to all of the dimension. for this dimension also okay. then this dimension okay. and also this dimension okay all right so done with our drafting okay so Uh, you can click the zoom extend icon on the right hand side of your screen okay then the the model is magnified okay lastly by you by press the control p you can see this 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 is the plot setting so we can change this autocad file to pdf file so I choose ISO A4 297-210 I choose extend then over here I click center the plot then I choose landscape then I click preview ok so this is our drafting alright so we can you can click to this plot icon to change to PDF alright so thanks for watching my video so hope you learn a new thing today about isometric drafting in AutoCAD. Keep follow my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube YouTube channel for more update and tutorials about AutoCAD, Inventor and other engineering design software. All the best, good luck.